Hey Instable Gaming fam, this video is about slaying Scorpia. You can find Scorpia in the wilderness, beneath the Scorpia pit to be precise. This area is multi-combat and level 53 to 55 wilderness. Her poison does up to 20 damage and her melee attacks can deal up to 16 damage. So I'll use magic to attack her today. When Scorpia is 99 HP or lower, her guardians will spawn. They will try to heal her. You can stop this by slaying these guardians. They will not respawn when slayed. Or you can freeze them and lure Scorpia away from them. When Scorpia is too far away, usually a few tiles, the guardians will despawn after 15 seconds. Now that we know the basics, let's take a look at what I'm wearing so we can go for our first KC. Since her lair is a hotspot for PKers, I won't bring too much valuable items and always items I don't mind losing. I am wearing a Farseer helm, a Cerodomic cape or God cape. If you have the better one, wear that one. Uh, I can't because I didn't do the quest yet. Well, I tried, but somehow I... Yeah, I have to get better first before I can finish that quest. But if you have a better up upgrade, go wear that one. Uh, a cold necklace, a Radha's Blessing 3, a Book of Darkness, Monk's Robes, Ring of Wealth, uh, because sometimes you get a nothing drop from Scorpia, and with the Ring of Wealth you will get some coins. So that's always nice. Infinity Boots, again, same as the cape. If you have better boots, go wear those. Uh, rune Gloves, same thing. Uh, of course I have Barrow's Gloves, but I chose to use the Rune Gloves because they're cheaper when they I get PK'd, so that's why. But if you're a risk taker and you don't mind, go wear Barrow's Gloves. Uh, Trident of the Swamp, it's actually my best mage weapon, so that's the reason why I am bringing the Trident of the Swamp. Uh, if you have a better one, first of all, good for you. I'm jealous. Uh, and go wear that one because every small upgrade is always good when doing bosses makes the kc faster and sometimes also more enjoyable and in my inventory i'm bringing cooked karambons a antidote plus plus because you get poisoned stamina pot because you have to run around a lot a super restore uh, to restore my prayers and blighted ancient isaac to cast of course i'm not in wildy well this is not really wildy. Wait, let me pass through and I will show you. Uh, there we go. To cast Ice Blitz. That's the one I will be using. Oh, no, I'm making a video right now. I will cast Ice Blitz. The reason why is because I can't do Ice Brush. Because you need level 94 magic and I have level 88. So that's why. And to be fair, Ice Blitz. Blitz also works really well. I've also tried some KC with Ice Burst. Was It wasn't that bad, but I think that if you have the chance to do Ice Barrage, do Ice Barrage because I think Scorpia and the Guardians will freeze longer than with Ice Blitz. So I do recommend if you can do it, do that one. And if I would go to the Wildy and I get PK, see, right now I be risking uh, almost 100k. Well, that's, that's not that bad. Of course, you can also eat everything and drink the potions. Let me check. Oh, sorry. Oh. If I bank all the food. There you go. Let's check. And then you will risk 60k. Oh, not bad. With this whole inventory, I do 5kc. And then I always have some uh, of the Isaac uh, still 50, sometimes a little bit less. For everyone who doesn't uh, want to go with the obelisk, I'm going to show you how to get to Scorpia with, with the lever in Edgefield. Don't forget to bring a wilderness sword or any slash weapon or a knife so you can slash the web. Over here we are in Edgefield and over here we have the lever. Let's pull the lever. And then over here is the web. Let's slash it, of course. Walk through it. This is a way safer route because there's no chaos elemental over here. And then we are here at the entrance. There we go. And then when you're done with the KC, you just go back. I should have brought a 
stamina pot, not okay. And then, of course, you have to slash, but since we just went through, we don't have to. And then you can, of course, decide Edgeful or, or Ardoin. No, let's go at, for Edgeful. Wait, let's pull again. If you choose Ardoin, you will go over here. And then, where's the bank? I think this is the bank. I think. Yes, bank booth. Then you have a bank over here to uh, restock your items. You can also use this shortcut. What agility do you need? You need 33 agility. And then you have a bank over here with Santa hats. <laughs> okay, let's go for a KC. I'm going to the Scorpia layer with the obelisk. Uh, right now I'm going to use the obelisk uh, to get over here to level 50 and then I walk over here. So uh, if you go with the obelisk, don't forget that Kael's elemental is over here, so be careful. It can do some really big damage. And then over here it's enter cavern. See if someone is here. No. Okay. Let's start with an antidote and protect from missiles. Okay. Let's freeze her. There we go. No, she won't walk. So you can attack her on a safe distance. Be careful that you don't uh, click on attack on these small offspring when you're running away from her. Um, there are their guardians. Let's freeze them too. There we go. Let's freeze. No. Let's try it again. Let's try this one too again. Okay, let's walk. Let's, even though they start walking, that's okay. Because as long as they can't heal her for 15 seconds, uh, they will despawn, as you saw with the other one. You just have to keep on walking, keep the distance between them. A few tiles. Well, I won't just. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's also a way to uh, get rid of those guardians. Let's focus on Scorpia again. Freeze. Let's keep walking. Try to freeze her. There we go. And that's the KC. Well, it was a nothing drop, but thanks to the Ring of Wealth, we uh, got some coins. Let's try again. Freeze. And what is this thingy doing? Come on. Freeze. No, it splashed. Let's try again. Freeze. Yep. Okay. Let's. Uh oh. It's another one. Let's freeze it. That's too close. Mm. Yeah. That's a good distance. Not too close, no, no. Yes, and it despawned. Let's freeze Scorpia again, yes. Whew, that was a close one. That's why it's really important to bring a stamina pot. Because sometimes you just need to run around a lot. I think uh, attacking Scorpia is the easiest part about the whole boss fight and the guardians won the guardians really spice up the boss fights did i freeze yes okay well yes oh yep let's run yeah see i just attacked the offspring and then my character stopped moving and now she got healed again. I think the other one despawned. 
so that's a good thing there is a way to to make sure oh and it despawned let's freeze scorpia let's eat first wow Yes. Uh, there is a way to not attack the offspring. Uh, you have to do that in the settings. Uh, but I don't. I don't do that. It's sometimes annoying, but and yeah, that's that's a lot of running around. But that's really the KC. Once you have slayed Scorpia a few times, it really gets easier. Okay, now I want to try something else. Let's freeze Scorpia and let's freeze Scorpia. Yes, let's just attack the guardians. Let's keep an eye on Scorpia so she won't start walking. Let's just... Like this. Let's... And that's one. And then number two, if you're out of stamina pots, you can still do a KC like this. Well, you you will need uh, you will need some food because it will make a KC a bit longer. But still, this is also a way to do it. Let's free Scorpia again. There we go. The guardians won't spawn again because we've slayed them. So that's a good thing. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We only have to worry about this one. <laughs> and there we go. Nice, not a bad drop. Let's pick it up and let's go back to the bank. And of course, to go back to a bank, I'm going back to uh, Ferox Enclave. I will go through here. Again, if you go through here, Please be careful, because Chaos Elemental can hit really, really bad. It happened a few times. Let's set destination. You will need uh, to complete Wilderness Heart Diaries uh, to uh, be able to set destination. Um, I will put it on level 13, then I will teleport to destination, stand in the middle, and then the obelisk will teleport to Farox and Clave. Well, next to. I do prefer this one more than pulling the lever to go to Asheville, uh, because over here we have the pool of refreshment, which saves uh, a trip to the POH if you, of course, have a pool in your POH. And then we go to the bank, store this stuff, and then we can go for another KC. It's really that easy. It's a fun boss, uh, and it's easy to get to the boss, as long as you watch out for Chaos Elemental, uh, yeah, and of course for PKers. Level 50, teleport to destination, stand in the middle. Takes a little bit of time to get the obelisk starting. There we go. We go over here, and there are three entrances. Um, if you go this entrance, you will spawn over here. And if you go this entrance, well, let's, yep, this entrance, you will spawn over here. And with this one, you will spawn over here. I think this is really handy to check out when you're not sure if there are PKers or other people already in the cave. So you can really take a look at all the angles of the cave. So that's really good. You know, if you enter over here and someone is standing over here and you don't see Scorpia and just go to the other one to check and to be sure, that's really handy. But right now, I don't see anyone. So let's go for a KC. And like I said before, when do doing any wildy bosses, just bring gear and items you're willing to lose. Of course, I'm not willing to lose my uh, Trident of the Swamp, but I hope. But that's why I have my quick prayers on the protect item. Oh, the guardians are already here. Okay. Let's see. Are they both now? Frozen? No. Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. We're not. Freeze. Freeze. 
Oh, I'm not paying attention. Space Scorpia too. Oh, and these bomb and these bomb. Okay, that was lucky. <laughs> Let's back off a little bit and then attack again. And there we go. Another KC cactus spine. 20k, not bad. I'm uh, I'm going to check the settings to see uh, if we can always right click. Is that the one? Yeah. But you also have to right cl click on Scorpia to attack, but you won't attack the offspring anymore. So that's a good thing. So that's. Uh, NPC attack options always right click. I don't know which one I had. Oh, okay, yeah. And as you can see, Chaos is attacking. That's some bad damage. It's still attacking. <laughs> Will it work? It's still attacking. Yes! Okay. Good. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Or if you want to share your Scorpia KC, I'll be happy to read all about it. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss the next boss guide. And of course, if you have a request, drop them also below. Have fun slaying Scorpia and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!